Morning. So echocardiogram on this dog. Um, we have not a bad echo, a uh, good solid start, uh, nice positioning for the tricuspid valve here. Um, nice E wave and A wave, uh, no regurg. Uh, now remember that regurgitation, the tricuspid valve can be very small and most of the time it comes in this direction right here. So if you're fishing with the gate around uh, the um, just prior to the uh, tricuspid valve uh, in the right atrium, more towards the septum, you'll pick up small jets a lot easier that way. Um, now your LA to AO, Jun Boon, remember you need to have a nice wide aortic valve and you do that by sliding towards the spine uh, so you, you see you don't have the aortic valve in here at all and the other thing is I don't know if you can see that on the screen but if you look at your focal point on the far right your focal point is down here by the left atrium so your machine is maximizing its capacity for a good image up here that's going to shorten up your near field and is why your your near field is dark on your mug so you want to make sure your focal point is probably right about where the aorta is and that's a good spot for the um, uh, for the echocardiograms. EPSS, uh, here again what you're having problem is is you're not quite perpendicular to the ventricular septum and your septum is rounded. So it would, uh, again you want to slide more dorsally on, towards the spine. That will solve both the aorta problem and the long ventricle issue. Uh, and you want to twist the probe away from you which will lengthen out that left ventricle um, in order to get your EPSS. So your EPSS, your LVM mode, your EPSS, your LA Max all need to have a nice long left ventricle but flattened across the screen uh, and you, you need to just slide dorsally towards the spine and that will resolve that problem. Okay, let's move over to the videos on your general, uh, your general assessment. So I am going to increase the uh, gain a little bit here. Uh, not a bad view here. You have lung artifact in the way. You want to get that out of the way because that's obscuring your left atrium down here. This isn't a bad position for potential mitral uh, color flow and spectral Doppler. You want to get it a little bit over to the right here and use the top of your forefinger to push that lung closed. Um, the, on your scanning hand uh, and that will clean that up a little bit or just adjust a little bit more towards the sternum and this will come in a little bit cleaner. There you go, that's a better position. Um, this is a good spot for mitral valve interrogation. So you put your color flow down here, one third cranial to, to the left of the mitral valve annulus, two thirds into the left atrium, and your jets are 80% of the time or so are gonna come in this direction here. So you wanna line up your color flow, uh, your uh, spectral Doppler, your C PW and then CW on the mitral valve, you need CW every time in this direction here once you see color flow come in. That's a pretty good view. Um, this is, again, these are tilted bricks or the tilted four chamber right parasternal long axis. Um, and you don't want to measure from these because if you come down and measure, you can see you're not perpendicular to the septum and the free wall, you're oblique. And so all your measurements are going to be off and your systoles between septum and free wall are not going to be in line. So again, what, the way you correct this tilted brick issue is sliding dorsally towards the spine and uh, potentially going cranially a rib space if need be. This is a nice short axis. You could do your, this is a, a pretty decent short axis sweep. You could do your LVM mode in short axis here if you wanted to. Um, and you go up to fish lips. If you slide a little more dorsally towards the spine, then you get the aorta and you get a complete efficiency clip on short axis. Okay, so you're moving up towards the spine and you're a little bit oblique. Uh, uh, again, you need to go a little bit further towards the spine and you're dropping your tail of the probe instead of keeping it cranially, um, you're sliding the tail caudally. So the common, common issues on, on echocardiograms, the people, they don't slide dorsally enough towards the spine and they don't keep the tail of the probe cranially. Um, and so uh, by those two things, those are the two things you need to correct here and it corrects all these issues that I'm talking about. It's not a bad heart base, not completely clean, but not bad. You're a little bit further dorsally, which is good. You can see your, you can put 1.4 aortas in the left atrium. That's normal for a heart base size as far as left atrial size. 
And you can pick up your pulmonic velocities here if you wanted to. You just slide the heart over a little bit from your heart base. You have a nice main and auxiliary branch of the um, pulmonary artery there, which is nice. This is a little bit better. It's a little bit oblique four chamber. Um, uh, if you um, you're still tilted again, so again, if you slide towards the spine, you'll be in good shape. But uh, twist the probe away a little bit, and it'll get rid of these papillaries. Um, it's kind of a tilted four chamber, but not a bad view. And then this is a nice view, uh, actually position two, and maybe that's where you were going with this, which is great. Um, position two is great for your tricuspid valve. Okay, so your color flow sector. What's going to happen here is your color flow sector is too wide, so you want to just close it down. Again, you want to go one-third of the space within the sector to the left of the valve and then two-thirds into the atrium. So you close your sector down to about here. You raise your PRF and your PRF on tricuspid should be between 60 and 75. Um, uh, so you're probably okay here. You just have to close down your sector because that you're getting a lot of splash and artifact and if you close your sector down that won't be the case. That's better. I would still close it down even further. Because what's going to happen is this is catching lung interference from the side. So you close it down to where it's right in the flow of blood and you'll be in better shape and you'll get less artifact. Same thing here. Close it on down further because all this movement is going to be caught up in the sector. So you want this sector to be just within the blood flow space and there you'll, therefore you won't, get, you won't get any splash. And on the mitral you're going to increase it to 80 to 90 on your PRF. Um, It'll also say scale, depending on the machine that you have. So you're just getting a lot of splash here and not a lot of flow. But your positioning isn't bad. So just remember when you're interrogating Doppler, let's go back to this Doppler view here. Color flow first, PW, and then if you have an aliasing jet, CW. One, two, three. There are three buttons, three steps to every color flow interrogation of every valve. Uh, so color flow first, PW second, CW if you have an aliasing jet on PW. That's for the mitral, the tricuspid, the pulmonic outflow, and the aortic outflow. Okay, so this is kind of an oblique five chamber. Um, I can subjectively see that the LA to AO ratio is one to one. So your LA to AO ratio on Jibun should be something like that, like 1.1, 1.1, 1.15, something along those lines. But you're again tilted, so you have to slide towards the spine uh, and flatten out that left ventricle and put that LA to AO right in the middle of the screen. Otherwise, if you were to drop your cursor here, you would be offline. So you have to have that aorta here, left atrium right underneath it, cursor coming down the middle. Um, that may not have been your intention with this view, but if you were to get this view and you were trying to make the, the LADO June Boone measurement, then you would be offline. That's a little bit better. You went up, you slid towards the spine a little bit further. This isn't a bad four chamber, um, just still a little bit tilted. Um, perfect position for mitral interrogation and nice flat atrial septum parallel with the uh, ventricular septum, so we know we don't have any left atrial enlargement. This is a nice position three, looking for the right auricle. It's a little mushy here, but not bad, you got it. Obviously there's no pathology there. So if you are in this position in position three and it's getting a little bit mushy in here, but you can see that atrium pop in. So all you have to do is use a little bit of pressure on the back of your hand on the, um, and move this lung out of the way and close it up and just uh, tilt the tail of the probe a little bit towards the head of the patient and get up in, underneath this area a little bit. It's just a matter of a minor uh, additional pressure there and you'll get a much cleaner view. Okay, nice apical. You just have to flatten the probe a little bit more towards the uh, onto the body wall, and as you flatten the probe towards the body wall further, you will center that heart. But nice morphology on the uh, on the mitral valve there. So it's just a matter of flattening the probe out a little bit to straighten this, put this heart in the middle of the screen. Good color flow first to make sure. I'm a little ticky tack here, but color flow. Um, don't put your color flow until you have a nice, wide, clean aorta because uh, gar if you start with an inappropriate uh, or an less than ideal image, then your color flow is going to be less than ideal. This was actually, this is where you want, you want a consistent long aorta like this, but in the center of the screen, then the color flow, then the spectral.
but not a bad not a bad start. Um, you just uh, a couple of things. Just keep it with the protocol. Uh, slide more towards the spine, at, uh, up towards the spine on the patient. That will flatten out the left ventricle. Um, and remember, just follow the protocol. LVM mode, EPSS, LA-DAO, LA-MAX. Get those done on position one on your brick when it's nice and flat, first and foremost. And then go from LA-DAO June Boone with it in the middle of the screen. Twist with two hands. Your right hand keeps the uh, probe angle correct and the tail cranial. In the left hand, you uh, spin and twist from a 7 o'clock position of the marker to 11 o'clock. And then do your sequence, your uh, LA to AO heart base, uh, mitral valve or fish lips view, and then mushroom, and then back again. And then come back and go back to that tilted brick, which you have perfected uh, very nicely on this one. Uh, color flow first on the mitral valve. Keep that sector uh, one third of the space of the sector to the left of the valve and two thirds within the atrium to the right of the valve. So it's color flow first, spectral Doppler second, PW, CW after that if you have an aliasing jet. Um, same thing with the aortic valve, same thing with the tricuspid, same thing with the pulmonic. Um, work on that position one and two a little bit more, a um, little more fluidy. Uh, fluid pattern on your progression. So um, what I would do first um, on your next exercise is do a progression without Doppler. So get your position one brick, get it flat, see what maneuver, see sl what's sliding towards the spine and twisting a little bit away from the probe or away from you or what the probe does as far as adjustments. Take the probe off and do it again and do it again and do it again until you have a flat brick every time. Then go through your progression. LVM mode, EPSS, LA Max, LA DAO, uh, center the LA DAO, turn to short axis, run the short axis sweep from Mercedes to fish lips to mushroom and back, come back to mitral valve in the bottom right of the court, uh, bottom right of the screen. So you're going back to your brick and then bringing the tail of the probe caudally a little bit. Go through your, uh, um, then go to position two, which is not far from that. Um, and uh, point to the right shoulder, get the tricuspid valve and the pulmonary artery, and go to position three and go to position four and center that aorta and make it nice and clean. Then go back and do the same progression again and adding the color flow, then the spectral, then or the PW spectral, then the CW spectral, just as a progression. And so once you get that progression down and it becomes like breathing, then every presentation that you run into will be the same. Just repeat that over and over and over again. But excellent start, and you're on the right road.